Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Robeson and today we're starting a whole new series on design styles. Here's what we're going to do today. We're going to cover two of those styles. One would be modern and the other would be contemporary. This is so cool. I just think this bathroom is pretty special. What do you think? Let's talk about the controversy around modern and contemporary. Why is it controversial? Well, because people see them and define them differently. So I'm going back to what I think contemporary is and what I know it to be, but I'm also going back to what I think modern is. And now we're going to talk about the subject, the style called modern home design. Modern can be characterized as having very straight lines, being very clean, being somewhat minimalist. It's also got a lot of symmetry. It's the kind of space where, although it may look very clean and structured and organized like that, it also has some warmth to it because it brings in the wood tones, which definitely keeps it separate and different from contemporary. Like what I'm wearing right now, this is very straight lines, structured and clean, but I bring a little bit of warmth in some of the finishes in my earrings, and that gives it more of a modern look over contemporary. For a modern home, the color palette is far more neutral. Okay, you're gonna see super neutral colors. There may be some grays. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of soft blues, but mostly modern is white, tan, taupe, cream, just a very monochromatic palette for the most part. Now, let's talk about the furniture styles that you'd see in a modern room. On this sofa, the absence of welting on the cushions add to that comfortable feeling you get in a modern piece of furniture. Likewise, modern design is, as I pointed out, clean and straight lines, but you often see wood accents to bring in the warmth. This upholstered bench with metal legs and the sea table continue that minimalist look. The wide squared armrests on this sofa maintain the clean lines characteristic of modern design. In a kitchen, the use of a modern counter height tabletop takes this super structured island in the direction of modern rather than contemporary. Mid-toned wood selections maintain their clean-lined angular shapes, while softer upholstered ottomans sit beneath for the homeowner's comfort and pleasure. Most of us have at least some furniture in our homes that have modern lines. That's what makes us feel current. When we update our homes, we end up getting much straighter lines on our sofas and things like that. So you can see in these furniture pieces that we just looked at, what a difference the modern look can make in a room. So what does a modern rug look like? Let's take a look. Grounding a family or living room with stripes or geometric patterns can set the foundation for a mid-gray sofa or sectional. Conversely, you could express yourself with an impressionistic rug like this that ties in the warm wood tones or the deep charcoals. If it's an organic look you're going for, a tone-on-tone -tone area rug like this would add texture and subtle movement to a modern space. I would say modern lighting is not as crazy as some people think. It has more clean lines to it. One of the things that really identifies a modern lamp, for example, would be a drum shade. That's where the shade doesn't go at an angle like this. It goes completely, it's the same size at the top as it is at the bottom of the shade. That gives it a much more modern look. You're not typically gonna see a lamp or a chandelier that has arms that curl around, you're gonna see straighter, cleaner lines. When it comes to art pieces that are modern, they are typically impressionistic. It's oils or acrylics that are woven together, creating a, an effect, a feel. And this is where you'll often see a little bit of color brought into a modern space. However, it's still very muted and toned down. 
How do you accessorize a modern home? Very little. <laughs> There's not a lot of stuff in a modern space. Typically, I would use large coffee table books, like designer books, things like that. Maybe put a plant on there in a simple, clean vase or pot. A really good thing to accessorize for modern is trees. So, like in my room here, I wouldn't call this room modern, but I have these fiddly fig trees. You'll see that a lot. You just keep it clean and simple. Other accessories you may want to consider would be vases or jugs that are just super clean, like a white bisque that have beautiful soft lines to them, but don't have any pattern to them. The fabrics often used in a modern home are linen, mohair for sure, but you don't typically see like, for example, velvet, right? That's it got too much luster to it. There are very few patterns that are used in the fabrics in a modern home, and you'll often see window treatments in a modern home, but I would make sure that the color of the paint on the walls leads right on into the color of the window treatments. Clean panels that go in and out, they do not puddle on the ground. They're just simple, clean, and the whole look of the room can become warm. Rather than walking in and feeling like it's cold, which you often do in a contemporary space, in a modern space, it feels warm and inviting. For window treatments, I find stripes an acceptable choice as well. Wide stripes, especially set on a horizontal direction, it just adds interest while remaining modern in its style. Have these examples helped you to identify what my explanation of modern is? I wonder if it resonates with you. Is that what you've always thought modern was or did you have it the other way around? Because if you did, you're not alone. I'm gonna tell you the difference between modern and contemporary, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to identify it, see it, and know it strong and clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, time for me to go change. My videographer says that my earrings are clapping too much. It sounds like crackling fire, but I did want to make a statement, right? Contemporary is all about bold statements, things that are sculptural. Do you know what uh, Google says contemporary is? This, is? this is the controversy right here. Google says contemporary is whatever is popular or in style at the time. And I say, well, that's a dumb reason to call it contemporary, right? I mean, it does sound like it makes sense, but if there's a style that's popular at the time, isn't it usually called Japandi or Scandi or dark academia? It's got its own name. So for me, as a designer all these years, when I think of contemporary, and that's what we're gonna talk about today, I think of black lacquer, glass, acrylic, chrome. I even think of brass, like a, it could be a brushed brass, but usually it's shiny. Everything, all the surfaces are shiny. If you have a fireplace, that's got, it's done in stone and it's super shiny. Any cabinetry has that super gloss finish on it. So it has a lot more drama to it than you would think, and certainly a lot more drama than what we just discussed in modern. In a contemporary style home, you often have white walls with a pop of color somewhere. It's sleek furniture, it's bold art and accessories, it makes a statement, and it's also quite minimalist. A well done contemporary home can sometimes leave you with the first impression of cold because the surfaces are hard and shiny. However, it's very intentional, and where you get the wow is in the bold, splashy punches of color. The best place to find contemporary furniture, in my opinion, in Tulsa is at SR Hughes, and they've allowed us to come in this morning before they even open this store, so I could film a few things and show you the attributes and the characteristics that you will often find in contemporary furniture, art, accessories, and even area rugs. Are you ready to take a look? Pretty fun stuff. Let's go. Follow my lead. I'm bringing 
Well, I think it's safe to say we can start here. Contemporary furniture is pretty clean lined, but it has some really cool attributes to it. Like, take a look at this chair. See how this has this effect back here with this detail? I mean, that is what sets this apart as contemporary. And look at this guy. What is this, Matthew? Is it a you? Is it a sheep? Is this a sheep? <gasps> that is just like the coolest thing ever. So when people are sitting by the fireplace or wherever you put these to sort of fill in your space, they have a place to put a drink or a cell phone. I mean, how clever is that? Now this is a contemporary piece done in a very highly polished lacquer. I've always thought that lacquer, and I usually think of it as black lacquer, but this is colored lacquer. And it, there's no molding on it whatsoever. It's the smooth, flat finish and the great geometric shape that makes it special. This low cabinet, kind of a credenza, it's the kind of thing you could put a television above, but what they did here is they did bold geometric art, which is awesome with contemporary. Um, the straight lines of this, are perfect with some of this softer, more rounded out furniture. You might look at this and think, well, is that modern or is it contemporary? I'll tell you what would have made it modern. If the legs down here were wood, because both modern and contemporary have a flat panel door, they don't have any molding. But this leg down here is the same material as this and it's super skinny and that's what that's how I would determine whether this is modern or contemporary. This is so cool. Not only is it shaped in a contemporary way and an artsy way, but take a look at the back of it. I just looked around at the back. This is amazing. Look at that. I mean, nothing is left just to be plain and uninteresting. Now contemporary lighting, oh my gosh, that is fun because it, that in and of itself is art. It is just incredible and it could be made out of metal, black metal, it could, be, have, it could have gold or chrome, it could be all glass. Often it's just a very structured thing and that actually makes a huge bold statement. In a contemporary home, lighting is everything. I recently finished a condo in downtown San Diego and we had done sconces on either side of the bed in the primary bedroom and they were reminiscent of this shape. The difference was they were very, uh, the glass was fluted, it was like crystal, big pieces of crystal here, but by adding this almost looks like hair kind of thing, it's like a hair kind of thing, and then doing this in a frosted clean uh, shape, a cylinder shape it took it into a contemporary look, whereas the one that I used in the condo, I would call it very glam. This is a contemporary floor lamp. I think this is incredible, and I can totally see this in the right home with a contemporary style. All right, behind me is a light fixture that honestly has been one of my favorites. I would even put this in a modern home as well because of its smooth shapes. I think it would be gorgeous, but it's in bronze and then a frosted glass. It sets off such a great mood. Look at it over the dining table. The dining table is definitely contemporary, but it's the light fixture that you remember. A quick stop at the rug store and we'll discover what kind of rug you might want to use if you decided to do your home in a contemporary style. Try geometric lines that intersect and include some curvy aspects as well. Even something with more organic stripe effect or a bold geometric shape, that would add interest to the base of your room. I love this bold burst pattern on the rug. It would be a very artsy statement to add to your room. Impressionistic swirls of color can set your color palette and could be a great foundation for your space. My personal favorite is this over-dyed purple rug. I can just imagine the artwork coordinating with this area rug. 
This is actually a really great application for window treatments for a contemporary space because there's a cornice box that looks like a very clean lined, almost a crown molding effect, but it's lit from underneath. And then the panels just come straight down and just barely touch the floor. When it comes to accessories in this style home, what you'd want to do is keep your accessories to a minimum. You might have a statue of something, a sculptural piece. It's just very clean, very minimalistic, and this is how that contemporary style actually is considered minimal because there's not a lot of stuff, but what there is, what they do put in that house, makes a statement. Welcome. I want to show you what I call a contemporary home here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I want to introduce to you Mike Keyes. He's my realtor here in Tulsa and he has set up all these different home tours for us and I want to say thank you. You're very welcome. I'm excited to have you do it. Yeah, and this house is owned by friends of yours, That's right? That's correct. And you sold it to them. I did. Well, that's what a good friend does, right? <laughs> another face from another time. Now, we've talked about what rooms look like that are contemporary. Obviously, this right here is not contemporary, but it doesn't all have to be. The overriding arch is love these sofas. Now, a contemporary sofa is usually a low sit. So this is probably, I'd say, maybe... 16, 17 inches off the floor, which is a low sit sofa. Here's the part about this house that is so phenomenal. If you can't see it, if you haven't noticed yet, the artwork. Look at the boldness. Contemporary art usually has no frame. It is a thicker canvas. This has got to be at least two inches thick. A lot of times the art wraps around the sides but you'll see that the finish on this is a high gloss finish and that is exemplary of the contemporary style. Look at this fun little accessory piece here. It looks like there's a goldfish inside. Now some of you may remember this. I actually used this at the Cliff House in the bedroom downstairs. But look, a little goldfish, but it doesn't actually have water in it, although it looks like it does. I think in a contemporary home, it's fun to have little alcoves and niches where you can do something special. A contemporary home is all about the wow in a particular area. Look at this. I love this piece of art, how he's balanced it with the two lamps that are sculptural. This is a piece of crystal that has been carved underneath to create a really cool effect. And then this piece of furniture here is both contemporary and I would say a bit glamorous too, which you do see a lot in the contemporary look. I need your touch. So what does a contemporary kitchen look like? Well, it looks a lot like this where everything is built in. No molding on the doors. All the doors are a solid flat panel. They have their outlets that are down in the um, countertop itself solid stone of slab. Actually, it's two pieces. This looks like it's book matched. So the pattern goes one direction here and laid open this way and you get this amazing design. A fully walk-in wine fridge. Look how the glass comes together here in the corner. So there's no metal that's attaching it to each other. Super contemporary, super clean. Even these Vouve corks out of a champagne bottle. And they're actually, you can sit on them, they're stools, but he just stacked them there. Creating his own little piece of art in and of itself, very, very creative. But see how clean line this is? The shiny chrome base of everything and the bottles. It just, everything is an opportunity to be a story and to be a wow in a contemporary home. 
sectional in the family room is what I call the quintessential contemporary sofa. It's made out of leather. It's one of the fabrics that is used a lot. There's no piping on anything. It's all like knife edged. And then look at the legs. These are silver metal, probably chrome or stainless steel legs. And it's floating, super low. I mean, this right here is textbook contemporary. All right, look at this bathroom. This is a contemporary bathroom. How do you know that? Well, the fronts of the cabinets, the drawers here on the vanity are completely flat panel. Very, very minimalist type handles in shiny chrome. But look at this back wall. It is gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. But the shower, oh my gosh, look at this. This is where the glass meets in the corner. I love that look. So like something should be there to hold that glass together, but it's not. That's what gives you that contemporary look. So this amazing shower in here, everything is sleek, clean. Even the drain in the floor is one of those long linear drains. Again, keeping everything in that contemporary look. I just think this bathroom is pretty special. What do you think? I gotta say, I'm very thankful to my realtor, Mike Keys, who's made it possible for us to tour all these homes. Great guy. There's a link in the description box below if you're looking for a realtor. But you know what, Mike? Thank you for taking five days out of your schedule to bring my viewers along with me to check out these different styles. So here's what I want you to do. Now that we have completed these two styles, I'd like you to go to my website. We've created a brand new styles quiz for you. It's on the Rebecca Robeson website and it's completely free. You'll know what your main core styles are. You can then pay super close attention to the things that actually apply to your style. It's also very interesting to see and know all the styles so that your mind begins to connect the, the shapes of the furniture pieces. And that'll help you narrow down so that when you're finished with your home, it will be 100% your style. Let me remind you that we have this thing and it's an amazing thing, it's called the design sessions. And that's where you can learn to take your style, add all the skills that you would need to create the home of your dreams. It is not on YouTube, it's on my website. Check out the design sessions too. We'd love to have you join our community of thousands of people who are learning how to decorate their homes with confidence. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time for the next style. It's gonna be great. Bye-bye. Wait, um, just hang with me here for a second because I just, you know, this outfit, it needed the bold accessories, doesn't it? Do you see the contemporary? Is it coming to your mind? Yep. Bold and exotic and dramatic and very loud. Bye bye guys.